Principal and Pro Vice Chancellor of the University of the West Indies St. Augustine Campus, Professor Rosemary Bell Antoine said, This country has a long history of cocoa, adding that the quality of the product holds a unique place in the world. She made the comment during the laying of the foundation for the UE Chocolate Factory. The Chocolate Factory is part of the CRC's International Fine Cocoa Innovation Center, the IFCIC. The International Fine Cocoa Innovation Center comprises a chocolate factory, the Cocoa Orchard, training programs for all industry, and the UE Fine Cocoa Limited, which is the company that we created in order to commercialize our venture. It's a newly incorporated entity, and it has the expertise and the resources to become a major producer and exporter of premium grade 70% dark chocolate. The IFCIC will also include a business incubator facility, a museum of cocoa plants and a chocolate academy for courses in chocolate making. Minister of Trade and Industry Paula Gopi Schoon applauded the UE for exploring research and development initiatives and creating investment opportunities. This particular initiative is significant for Trinidad and Tobago as it creates a, a lucrative opportunity for the production of high-value-added products from local cocoa beans, which can be sold locally and e exported to foreign markets, and which will generate much need in foreign exchange and create new employment opportunities. CRC Director Professor Pathmanathan Umaharan said the factory that is being built completes the innovation pipeline that the center started years ago. This factory now allows the businesses the capacity to upscale their production so that our local brands can become a force in the export market. The cocoa factory will be equipped for chocolate making and manufacturing products such as coverture chocolate, cocoa liquor, cocoa nibs and chocolate. The construction of the facility has started and is expected to be completed and commissioned in January 2024. Kimberly D'Souza. TDT News.